The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number fifteen, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August twenty-first, nineteen seventy-three, in London, England. Translation: O best among men, Arjuna, the person who is not disturbed by happiness and distress and is steady in both, is certainly eligible for liberation. Krishna is addressing Arjuna, who is our power? The best of the man. Oh, the best of the man. Certainly Krishna is the best of the man, Tamil, because he is uh, directly friend of Krishna. Who can be better man than he? The best of the man. So, the best of the man, why he is distressed in ex- executing his duty? <coughs> Therefore, this very word is used, that you are the best of the man. Huh? Actually, uh, the best of the man should not be disturbed by any material condition. He should discharge his duty. Uh, and what is the duty? Duty is to become immortal. This is the duty. The lowest of the man does not know how to become immortal. Amrita. Amrita means death, and Amrita means no death. Uh, the modern Ashkel civilization cannot understand that there is possibility of become, becoming immortal. They have taken it, accepted it. Well, who can stop? That's simply scientifically calculating. So some day will come by science, it shall be immortal, there will be no death. <coughs> the formula is given here by Krishna how to become immortal. So that means you should be careless of the so-called happiness and distress of this material world. That is the first quality. One who doesn't care what is the distress and happiness of this body, he must execute such a consciousness. That is the quality. So I cannot execute Krishna consciousness because there are some inconveniences. Uh, he's not fit for becoming immortal. Uh, people do not know that they can, we can become immortal. Immortal we are, but we have been embodied in this material body. Therefore we have to accept uh, mortality. But and death, <coughs> these things uh, stated in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, this is beginning of spiritual life. Spiritual life means uh, how to become immortal. Uh, they come to ask me, uh, sir, do you know some spiritual magic? Kula uh, Pundali? Go, be, go. All, all for material maybe. Spiritualist means something maybe uh, so that you can get some material maybe. Uh, if by stretching your hand you can get some little quantity of gold, uh, then you are spiritualist. Uh, oh, here is a man, wonderful spiritualist. He can create gold. Uh, he can cure disease by simply, uh, what is called? Uh, queen, like that. They want to see magic only for material benefit. 
what is called miracles. That is spiritual. Spiritual life means how to become immortal. Amritāyaka. So Amritāyaka is what? Krishna has explained. Mātras parśāsya kaunti ya sītūsna sukhudukkhada āgamā pāyana anītya kāna titikhasya vāra. Kāna titikhasya. Don't be disturbed by the sensuous or disturbance of the body. Become dhīra. Dhīra sattva namayyati. Become dhīra. So one who has practiced to become dhīra, not to become disturbed by the sensuous or bodily sensations, he is supposed to be kalpat, he is supposed to be, to become immortal at the end. And the Bhagavad says also that you do not become a spiritual master, you do not become a father, you do not become a mother, you do not become a friend, a relative. In this way, if you cannot make your subordinate immortal, Pita uh, nasasya, guru nasasya, guru nasasya, janani nasasya, pita nasasya. Then this is there is a list. Uh, you become uh, father of hundreds of children. Uh, that's all right. No uh, restriction. Uh, bigger children. But you must make your children immortal. That is English. You have become guru, that's all right, Guruji Maharaj. That's all right. But make your disciples immortal. Otherwise don't, don't cheat others. Cheat us. Uh, illicit father, illicit mother. As you said, illicit sex. Similarly, illicit father, illicit mother. Who is illicit father, illicit mother? Who cannot make his children immortal? That is the aim of his life. How to become immortal? How not to become, we are immortal. It's like a person with disease, attacked by fever. Fever is not, uh, is, natural condition, but somehow or other he has got fever. Similarly, we are immortal, that we have explained. Najayate namriyateva. The living entity never takes birth, never dies. They are immortal. Immortal means no birth, no death. That is immortal. Whenever there is birth, there is death. If there is no birth, there is no death. Uh, that is immortality. So the whole skin is Vedic skin, uh, not otherwise. Uh, how to become immortal? When you find Bhagavad Gita. Yadgatyana nivartanti tadhāma paramamo. In many places, the sāstra only aims at in another place, in Bhakti Kabha, when Vishamitra Muni came to see Maharaj Dasarath to ask his son, Ramchandra and Lakshman, to take them, they were boys at that time, and there was a demon uh, disturbing in the forest. Vishamitra Muni came to Maharaj Dasara for help. That Vishamitra Muni could kill that demon immediately. But that is not the business of the Brahman. Killing business is for the Chhatriya. Let's see how. He was quite powerful. He could 
kill that demand simply by saying that he died. He was so powerful, Vishamitra Muni. But he still he came to the king for help. So when Vishamitra Muni came to Maharaj Dasarat, as we asked, how are you? So Dasarat, Maharaj Dasarat uh, inquired from you, uh, from Vishamitra Muni, oh, he is that Punajanma Jayaya. My dear, sir, uh, if there is any thing, disturbance in your uh, occupation, because you are trying to conquer over death, all the great rishis and saintly persons, all spiritual realization means to conquer over death. So this was the question. Or is this Kajatam Punajanma Jayaya? Punajanma. You are trying to over over repetition of birth. The modern civilization they do not know that it is possible. It is possible to become immortal, to have eternal, blissful life of knowledge. That is called immortal. Satchit Ananda. Sat means eternity. And chit means knowledge. And ananda means pleasure, bliss. We are part and parcel of Krishna. Krishna is Satchidananda Vidraha. His transcendental body is eternal, blissful and complete knowledge, his body. Therefore he is speaking Bhagavad Gita. If he is an ordinary man, what is the use of hearing it? Ordinary man will commit mistake, will cheat, will be illusioned, his senses are imperfect. How he can give complete knowledge? That is not possible. Therefore we are not concerned to hear any rascal. We want to hear Krishna. We are not prepared to hear any rascal, so-called scientist and so-called so-called God. No. We are not prepared. Because everyone is rascal. Everyone is full of mistakes. Everyone is trying to cheat at us. Everyone is illusion. And everyone's senses are imperfect. How we can give knowledge perfect? That is not possible. Uh, therefore, we have to select Guru. Guru means Krishna as Arjuna has selected Guru. Shishyasteham sadhimam prakannam. And I become your Shishya, disciple. Uh, and I surrender to you. So, to get perfect knowledge, we have to find out Krishna or Krishna's bona fide representative. Then there is perfect. Then we can become immortal. Unless we get perfect knowledge, then so. Krishna is Satchidananda Vidra, immortal. Krishna is full of bliss, full of knowledge. And we are also part and parcel of Krishna. So we have also the same quality, Satchitananda, the spiritual body. But because we have contracted this material nature, our blissfulness, our eternity, our knowledge, everything is now disturbed. Everything is now disturbed. We cannot be completely blissful. Anything is there. Any pleasurable thing is there. It cannot give you uh, all a uh, pleasure. It is not possible. This is not possible. In this However, you may try scientifically to prolong your duration of life, live forever. It is not possible. Uh, 
And how are you may pose yourself, cheat others that oh, you are the best man in knowledge, philosopher, scientist. You are a fool. That is not possible. Satchidananda Vigra is Krishna only. So we can also become like Krishna, along with Krishna, not outside. We can be living for along with Krishna. So Krishna is also very much anxious to take us back to him. Therefore he comes. Jada jada hi dharma sarvani bhavati dharat. Tadatmanam sijama. When these rascals forget that unless he goes back to home, goes back to Krishna, he will never be happy. That is the discrepancy of occupational duty. Yaktamiya, Krishna Bhuliyaji Bhogavan Shakar, Yaktamiya, Penja, the Lord is over the material nature and has become entangled. So Krishna comes, descends to save us, to give us shelter at his lotus feet so that we may also become immortal like Krishna, full of bliss and full of knowledge. Uh, that is called Amrita. So unless you have got our aim, target of life, uh, then what is the value of life? Uh, this is Amrita thought. Is there any institution, is there educational uh, institution or university or college where this teaching is given that how you can become immortal. Is there any institution in the world? Throughout the whole world? No. They are simply teaching that you live like animals and die like animals. That's all. You live like cats and dogs and you die like <coughs> dogs, and again become cats and dogs. Puna puna charita charvana. Nati vidu sārta patim hi viṣṇu durā sayāji bhadiratthamāni. Andhā jathāṁ bhai rupani yamāna. Vipi satantra urudāni vadhyā. Matinna Krishna parato satova mitho vipardi to viham pratana adanta gohi visatanta mitsam puna puna char mita charvana naisham matishtava durukraman vim visatanatha upa vamoja dhatka niskin chalana padra jomisikam mahina sangana vrnita jha this is Prahlad Maharaj's instruction. That the, he was instructing his father, materialist, first class materialist. Uh, so, when he inquired that what is your purpose that you have become Krishna conscious? Uh, how you have become Krishna conscious? So he answered, uh, he did not ask him, he addressed him as my father. Uh, he addressed him, Asura uh, Vajra, the first class demon. He never addressed him, my dear father. My dear first class demon. This little boy, five years old, because he is Krishna concerned, and the father is threatening him always to kill, he still is not afraid. Uh, when he says, where from you have got this courage, Prahlad, uh, my dear father, or my dear demon, uh, I have got this courage, where from you have got this courage. Uh, but you are forgetting. Uh, that is the difference. You have got so much power that you can defeat anyone in the demigods, you should know that you have got this power from the powerful, but you are not obedient to the powerful. That is demand. 
demands from the great power, uh, they think that I have got it, I have earned it, uh, it is my thing, who can challenge me, but he forgets that everything can be withdrawn within a second by the power. That is demonic. And Vaishnava, devotee means, although he is very, very powerful, he never thinks that I am powerful. He thinks that I am acting simply by the order of the power. This is the difference. Uh, so, Pradhan Mahara says, uh, yeah, people do not know the aim of life. The aim of life is yet Amritattva, as good as Krishna, as good as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, blissful, full of knowledge and eternal. That is the aim of life. That people do not know. Nati vidu, sārta gati means Vishnu. Vishnu means the Supreme Lord, who is eternal, full of bliss and full of knowledge. So our aim should be how to approach Vishnu. Then we get the same power, same eternity, same blissfulness. Just like a motor car is running at the speed of sixty miles, and if a cyclist somewhere or other catches the motor car, he can also go at the speed of sixty miles. Uh, sometimes boys do that. Uh, similarly, you approach Krishna, you approach Vishnu, you get all the powers uh, because you become under protection. Protection of the that Tulsidas has said that in the ocean, uh, the waves of the ocean. If you put one elephant very powerful, very strong, uh, the elephant will be washed out by the way. But a small fish, a teeny fish, it is swimming against the wind. They take pleasure. The fish, when the waves are coming this way, the fish go in that way. Now see, you put against the web an elephant, it will be washed out. Why elephant? Any strong thing is it. Uh, even big, big sheep, uh, it will be washed out. But a small fish, it doesn't care the web, it goes against the web. Wow! It has taken the shelter. It has taken the shelter of the ocean. Similarly, uh, all the power belongs to Krishna, jatra yoga is sarahi. But if anyone takes shelter of Krishna, he becomes as powerful as Krishna. This is the problem. Uh, but we do not know. We want to become powerful here by so-called uh, science, so-called yoga, kundalini, and what other nonsense they are. They are trying to be immortal, powerful. No, sir, that is not possible. It is not possible. Therefore, uh, people do not know. Nothing we do. They do not know. Sartapati in Vishnu, our aim should be how to approach Vishnu, how to go back to home, back to God. Nothing we do, Sartapati in Vishnu, Durasaya. They are hoping, uh, uh, very, uh, Durasamani is very badly wrong, that they want to be happy by adjustment of this material world. The yogi process is also another material gymnastic. Uh, 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 we have not heard any yogi has become successful to get immortality. No. That is not possible. Nati vidu sārta gati ni viṣṇu durāsaya ji bhodhiratthamāya. Those who are trying to adjust this material world by science or yoga uh, without caring for Vishnu, uh, 
वाद्य है अंधा देर ब्लॉन्ड अंधा एंड देर लीडर एंड देर ऑल्सो ब्लाइंड अंधा जथा रुपन्योमाना अंधा वन ब्लाइंड मैन इज ट्राइंग टू लीड अनदर मैन तो व्हाट इज रॉन्ग देर से इशो कंत्राबद्या That bound up by the laws of nature, and then that's right. <coughs> How they can become free and happy by such endeavor? That is not possible. So, so simply by taking Krishna consciousness, it will be nice. Yes. So how to take Krishna consciousness? So that is also answered by. प्रहलाद महाराज मदिन कृष्ण परतो सतो वा मिथो विपदी कृष्णकॉन्शियसनेस कैन नॉट बी अवेकम फॉर ए पर्सन हु वॉन्ट्स टू स्टे इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड बिकम हैप्पी ही कैन नॉट बिकम कृष्णकृहृताना गृह मीन्स हो अमृताना वृदा मैं वन हु हैज टेक the house or home of this body as everything bhuta bhuta mein to just like we are observing this today a janmashtami bhuta under how uh, we shall pass an austerity uh, the aim is different from the griha bhuta griha bhuta's aim is how to decorate the home how to become happy in this home in this world In this material world, uh, uh, that is there. So they cannot become Krishna conscious. Uh, one who has become careless of this material happiness, he can become Krishna conscious. Uh, that way, it is said here: yes. "Dhamhi na vasanti iti." These material things, uh, seasonal changes, so-called happiness, so-called. Distress. If one is not distressed, there is no cause of distress. Uh, this is another foolishness. Why one should be distressed? Uh, because the so-called happiness or happiness or distress, whatever you are destined to receive, you must get it. Uh, you try or do not try, it doesn't matter. Whatever portion of happiness. You are destined to get ill get, and what about most now? Because this material life is mixture. You cannot get unadulterated happiness or unadulterated distress. Uh, no, that is not. You will get distress and happiness both. Therefore, Krishna has explained in the previous class uh, <coughs> here also. Jang hina bhagan te te. मात्रा स्पर्शा सुख श्री दोषण सुख दुख हियर इन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड देर इज विंटर एंड द काउंटर पार्ट समर इन दिंटर वी आर स्पैक इन वर्म दैट मीन्स यू वन समर एंड अगेन समर यू रिक्वायर यू आर स्पैक एंड इट बीन कूलर यू अप्लाई कूलिंग मेसिंग सो दिस इज अवर स्पैक In the summer we apply cooling machine, and in the winter we apply heating. Uh, so undisturbed happiness, either in coolness or warmth, you cannot have. This is not possible. Therefore, we have to become careful. Uh, but <coughs> the material person they are disturbed. Uh, a little winter, little chilliness immediately bring electric heater immediately. Or if there is too much hot, bring fan, bring cooler. So they are busy. Uh, how to adjust this material disturbance? But they do not think that why these material disturbances are disturbing me. I do not want them. That question is the simple struggle. How to counter it? Uh, struggling like fool. Uh, but here is the solution. Here is the solution. The solution is that don't be disturbed with this cooling and heating machine. Uh, 
be pleased in whatever condition Krishna has placed you. Of course, there is no harm if you can put yourself in a comfortable. But simply for putting yourself in comfortable situation, don't forget Krishna. That is all. Simply for making adjustment of this material condition of life, if you forget Krishna, then you lose everything. That uh, in the Bible also, uh, there is a... Yeah. Uh, repeat it. That's it. Uh, that should be the end. That we are eternal. So, we must be again replaced in our eternal life. But if you forget this mission of life and simply become uh, engaged, how to become happy in this material world, how to avoid distress and how to get happiness, people are engaged in that way. Simply trying to get happiness and avoid distress and forgetting that he has got a mission of life to realize his self and go back to home, back to God. This is the defect of the modern civilization. So, Bhai Rathamāya, Nati Vidu Sārtha Gatim, He, yeah. Matinra Krishna Parato Satova, Mitho Vipadvita Vihabhutāma. So, they are conferences, they are united nations, they are scientific advancement, they are educational system, philosophy, and so on, so on. Everything is meant for how to become happy in this material world. Griham Vrtava. The aim is how to become happy here. And that is not possible. These rascals, they cannot understand. If you want to become happy, then you must come to Krishna. Mahamukita Kaunti or Dukhalam Sāsatam. Not Nibhanti. Krishna says, if somebody comes to me, then he does not again get this place which is full of misery, dukhāvat. This material world is explained by Krishna as dukhāvat. Āla means flesh and dukha means distress. Everything is distressful here, but fools being illusioned, like covered by the illusory māyā, that this there she accepts as happiness. That is my Simply chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Nam. And gradually you realize how to become immortal. Thank you very much.